And later, will there be an increase in power bills for Grand Bahama? We've got that story straight ahead. This is Eyewitness News. Good evening, everyone. I'm Janae Noel. Thanks so much for joining us. Off the top tonight, the Grand Bahama Power Company under fire tonight after announcing today that they filed for a first rate adjustment application to be honored by regulators since 2015. The company hoping to address an increase in base rates and a new generation plan, noting the challenges from hurricanes Dorian and Matthew. Officials say overall the increase is projected to be around 4%, noting that not all consumers will see that increase. Government, however, is slamming the power company tonight for the move, noting that their request is deeply concerning and stressed that the Davis administration will not support any rate increase on any portion of the customer base on Grand Bahama at this time. Now in a statement from the Minister of Grand Bahama, Ginger Moxie, she noted that it is government's firm position that the people of Grand Bahama should not be further burdened. A cabinet committee has also now been formed to address the matter and to ensure that the rights and interests of residents of Grand Bahama are protected. Now, a meeting has been scheduled with the Grand Bahama Power Company and cabinet they expect to meet in the next two weeks. While still on news from Grand Bahama, the president of the Coalition of Concerned Citizens in Grand Bahama, Eddie Victor, telling Eyewitness News tonight that Grand Bahamians simply cannot absorb any additional costs if rates are increased, noting that Grand Bahamians have suffered with a downed economy for far too long. Find that your power bill can actually be as much as your rent, or it could be um, as much as your mortgage. Um, when people have to make a decision between um, uh, whether I, I eat or pay a power bill, you will find that most people cannot pay their monthly bill because they do not have the funds to pay their monthly bill. We are going to vigorously fight this, um, more so than what we've done in the past. This is not the first rate increase that we oppose. Um, in, in 2015, our coalition um, aggressively fought the rate application of the power company, and the regulators still went ahead with, with overwhelming opposition across the island, from the business sector to the private sector, uh, the, 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 their rate application was approved. And so, um, again, we're at this point where they, they're seeking an increase in the rate. Well, if that rate is granted and amounts to an increase, Victor says the business community will also be dealt another hard blow. It makes it difficult for any company to truly expand because they're going to have to pay a lot of money for electricity. And, um, and when it comes to um, just trying to uh, help their employees or, or try to uh, increase staff, how can you increase staff if your, your electricity bill gets higher over the years. And, I, I, and let's talk about the tourism economy. Uh, we hardly have any tourists on this island. And so um, this electricity uh, uh, um, proposal, the increase rate, is going to hit the hotel industry tremendously. And, and what does that mean? When you look at this, if, 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 if you have increased costs for the average consumer, the residential uh, consumer, the business, uh, the businesses and hotels, it means that there's going to be increased cost that's going to be passed on. Now for more on this story, you can log on to our website, ewnews.com.